welcome to my Greek kitchen. I'm Maria Nicholas, also known by my grandchildren and their friends as Yaya Maria. The word Yaya in Greek means grandma, so it's Grandma Maria, and I'm here today to show you how to make kuludakia. The word kuludaki in Greek means to coil or to roll, and in order to shape these cookies, we need to make coils and roll them. I'd like to show you the ingredient list. We will need one pound of unsalted butter at room temperature, one cup of granulated sugar, six or seven cups of all-purpose flour, two whole eggs, two egg yolks, two teaspoons vanilla, two tablespoons orange juice or whiskey or anise flavoring, two egg whites for glazing, and the optional item is sesame seeds for topping. Now, in the Greek villages, oranges were not always in season, but the villagers always had a bottle of whiskey in the cupboard, and that's what they used for the additional flavoring. So let's get started. I want to go over the ingredients with you. A very important thing when baking is to have all of your ingredients at room temperature. We have the butter and the eggs, which we've had out of the refrigerator for a couple of hours to get them to room temperature. Here's the sugar, salt, baking powder, vanilla, orange juice. This is our glazing egg whites, flour, and the sesame seeds for the topping. So let's get started. First, we're going to start with the butter. Cream the butter and be sure that it's soft. Then we add the sugar. Slowly and cream it well. I'm going to cover it so we don't have splatters all over the place. Next it's time to blend the eggs before we incorporate them into the creamed butter and sugar. In go the eggs. It's time now for the flavorings, the vanilla and the orange juice. And let's give it a good blend. Now it's time to put the baking powder in. So I like to mix the baking powder with a little bit of the flour so that it incorporates better. And the salt. And give it a little blend. Now it's time for the flour. We like to do this a little bit at a time so we don't have flour flying all over the room. Now that the flour is all incorporated into the dough, we just give it a little knead and get ready to roll and coil the kuludakia. First, it's good to spray your baking sheet. There we go. After kneading the dough a little bit, take some of the dough. I like to take about a walnut-sized piece of dough, and we're rolling it to about 8 inches. Now we're going to coil. And there we have our first cookie. Now you can make various different shapes. The next shape I'm going to make is going to be the easy one. Just roll it and coil it. And there it is. Now there's another shape. An S shape. and roll it and coil it in opposite directions. Those are the traditional three shapes. Now that the first sheet of cookies is made, we're going to glaze them with egg whites and then put the topping on. 
This gives the cookies a nice sheen and a rosy color. Finished with the glazing and now I'm just going to put the topping on all the cookies. Now that the cookies all have been topped with the sesame, it's time to bake them in a 350 degree preheated oven for 20 minutes. The kuluraki have finished baking and they're delicious. This is the results. The recipe for this, along with many others, can be found in my book, Yaya's Favorite Greek Recipes. This recipe is on page 149. The book can be purchased at Amazon.com. This recipe makes approximately six dozen cookies. The aroma is fantastic. I think I'll taste one. Mmm, great. <laughs>